We have some more information for you new tonight at 6 on breaking news. A fraternity at WSU is no longer part of the school's Greek system. Right now, the Theta Chi fraternity is no longer formally recognized by the university. Krem 2's chief journalist Amanda Rowley live in the newsroom tonight with what she has uncovered so far. Amanda? Mark and Whitney, Washington State University told me the fraternity failed to meet this evening's deadline to file a relationship agreement with the school. I started looking into this today after being down in Pullman over the weekend. I saw for myself the chapter house with the windows boarded up and no one coming or going from the house. Now this follows an investigation into hazing that allegedly led to the suicide death of WSU student Luke Tyler last January. Now shortly after his death, the university chose to suspend all chapter activities at Theta Chi due to the severity of the pending charges against the chapter. Those charges include hazing, underage drinking, reckless endangerment, and violating university policy. By losing recognition, that means Theta Chi can no longer participate in WSU Greek life activities. WSU says the chapter can reapply for recognition only after the school lifts the suspension and pending charges are resolved. But WSU says that's no guarantee the request will be granted. Meantime, Luke Tyler's parents spoke with our sister station in Seattle shortly after their son's death. New tonight at 6, we share why they believe hazing contributed to his death. Is there any doubt in your mind that hazing contributed to your son's death? No, we believe the rituals that were part of this fraternity had dangerous components that contributed to his adverse mental and physical health. The Pullman Police Department told me this afternoon it is continuing to investigate whether crimes occurred relating to hazing and providing alcohol to minors. Commander Aaron Brashears also told me there may be criminal charges brought forward. Now, we asked the National Theta Chi International Headquarters if the chapter intends to reapply and what will happen to the house in Pullman. They have not yet responded. Now, through my reporting today, I spoke on the phone several times with the WSU spokesperson who confirmed these details with me. I also reached out to Luke Tyler's family, and I'm waiting to hear back. We're going to, of course, keep you updated on this breaking news story as we learn more. Reporting in the newsroom, Amanda Rowley, Creme 2 News.